Hello, this is David Rovix with another episode of This Week with David Rovix, available wherever you get your podcasts. Founding member of PTU, Portland Tenants United, Margot Black, has often spoken at rallies and recounted the story about when she first became a tenants' rights organizer. She was a renter supporting her small children at the time when her landlord one day announced to her that if she wanted to stay in the apartment she lived in with her family, she had to suddenly come up with an additional $300 in rent each month. That was impossible on her income, so she had a month to find another place for her and her family to live. After thus evicting her, her landlord said to her, you'll be okay, you're just a renter. Upon discovering that everything that had just happened to her was perfectly legal in the state of Oregon and the city of Portland, she became an activist, among other things. What happened to her isn't unusual, and it's happening in cities and towns across the U.S., and while the words of Margot's landlord were perhaps especially crass and offensive, they also serve well to illustrate a broader point about how society functions, or doesn't. Former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher famously said, There is no such thing as society. Believers in society, and the idea that government has an important role to play in maintaining some kind of harmony in society that requires things like affordable housing and health care, argued vehemently with her in so many ways. But as I look around me now, among the shambles of a society ravaged by decades of a heartless, bipartisan, neoliberal assault, among the tents and the walking wounded shuffling down the sidewalks with their shopping carts and matted hair, I think Thatcher was right. There is no th such thing as society. And why should there be? Half of this city rents and the other half owns. It's true that most of those homeowners are homeowners in name only. But if they have a stable mortgage, then they're living in a different world from the rest of us who rent. For anyone who owns a house, <clears throat> things like clean streets, nice parks, good schools, a low crime rate, these things are good, naturally enough. And while renters also appreciate these things, we know that every one of them comes with not just a potential, but a very real, inevitable cost. The nicer the city gets the higher the rents will rise. And as long as half the city wants property prices to rise and the other half wants them to fall, when you consider everything that that contradiction implies, there is no possibility of having any real kind of functional society. Unregulated capitalism and real estate speculation have precluded that. And now we're living with the consequences. Residents at the Wimbledon Square and Gardens, a 600-unit apartment complex across from Reed College here in Portland, are organizing a tenants union, the Wimby Tenants Union, with the support of Portland Tenants United. The mass of three-story wooden structures they live in there is an obvious 600-unit fire hazard with blocked fire in exits, ancient fire extinguishers, toxic, rotting, moldy walls, and a rodent problem to name only some of the challenges faced by the tenants. One of the tenants fell through a stairwell that collapsed while he was walking up it, badly damaging one of his knees. A lawyer for Prime Group, the multi-billion dollar corporation that owns the complex and makes a million dollars a month off of the renters in that complex alone, was overheard commenting that the apartments were in such bad shape that perhaps the best thing to do was to throw a match at them and start over. In my more cynical moments, I think maybe he was onto something. Ten thousand yuppies just moved here. Ten thousand others came last year. The rent has doubled since I moved in. Each month I take it on the chin. Each month I wonder how many more can I stay in Portland before, before I move into my car or end up somewhere behind bars? 10,000 yuppies say don't complain now that the city is in the fast lane. It's just a market and it knows best. That's how the bankers built the West. So just get rich and you can stay. Otherwise, just go away. There's no room here for us Holding on under the bus I'm just a renter, this ain't my town Might as well just burn it down I care 10,000 
yuppies think it's great to invest in Portland real estate. Keep Portland weird, they like to say. But that was over yesterday. Of oh, their achievements, they're so proud. Living lives in some cloud, but unlimited data will get you nowhere. If you can't afford to care, I'm just a renter. This ain't my town. Might as well just burn it down. For all I care. For all I care. Ten thousand yuppies, and on each block, they're flipping houses and taking stock. Where's the next place they can transform? Tents and mansions, the new norm. They like TED Talks, they like greed. They like wine bars, they like weed. They like bike lanes, they want more. They're the face of the new class war. I'm just a renter, this ain't my town. Might as well just burn it down. All I care. For all I care. For all I care. This version of the song, Just a Renter, appears on my upcoming vinyl album, Historic Times. The entire album is currently available as a free download to anyone who gets on my email list at davidrovix.com. This has been episode 18 of This Week with David Rovix, available wherever you get your podcasts. Please let me know what you think of it. If you like it, sharing it and reviewing it on whatever platform you use would be most appreciated. Hope to see you here in cyberspace next week.